TikTok goes viral for trying to expose what? Trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert, and when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. And I came across this story about a week ago. I saw it. It kind of pissed me off because I'm tired of women accusing random men of being pervs because they're simply looking at them like as if it's a crime to look at people. I'm not entirely sure why some girls are so egotistical to whenever a dude looks at them, they automatically think it's creepy or... Bro, that's true. And then don't get me wrong, man. There be some girls at the gym be wearing the craziest shit. And I know a lot of girls is going to bring up the argument that, hey, the, the article of clothing is quote unquote comfortable. But I'm telling you, bro, the, the I've been seeing girls in the gym with the tightest yoga pants. Like I'm telling you, like the tight of the yoga pants is up their ass crack. Like all I'm seeing is straight yams jiggle when I'm at the gym. They be squatting right in front of me. And I'm and I see everything, bro. And I'm just like, and you expect me not to look? I'm a man. Full of testosterone, bro. Like, I'm gonna look. Hello. What's up? Yes. Oh. Okay. I'll see you. craziness no it's my pops calling me because he's about to help me install an ac or he wants something from her or he finds her attractive like nah for those of you out there who have this mindset calm the fuck down you're not all that if you're outside or in a building where there's other people other human beings you can expect other people to look at you whether it's men women grandmas uncles cats dogs like calm down you're not the only one with eyes however in today's video we have this girl by the name of adriana farbius who was working out at her local gym and apparently one of the gym owners or the manager there peeped to look at her while she was working out dude was not staring at her at all literally just a quick look and then all of a sudden she decides to flare up gets angry at the dude and starts basically verbally assaulting him so with that little description out of the way let's get into this and when i stand up for myself he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership so at that point in time when she starts lifting up her shirt you know looking at herself in the mirror because she can't get enough of herself oh, but anyways as that was so happening good. you can see the dude in the inclined bench pressed machine <sighs> moving his head to get a better view at what she was doing and we don't know his intentions we don't know if he was just trying to cop a look at what she was doing we don't know if he found her attractive or we don't know if he was just looking it don't even matter, bro. It's like if if I'm a dude at the gym and I see a girl like like with a nice body and if I look, it's like what's the problem about that? It's like we're not approaching you, we're not talking to you, we're not touching you. It's like we're we're just glancing or we're just looking. Like I feel like if it's being creepy like if I'm following you around the gym type shit like like if you go to the whole other side of the gym and I'm right behind you on some following you then it's uh, okay but it's like if if i'm from a distance and i'm just giving you a little glance i'm just looking at you i mean i don't see what's the harm in that looking at something entirely different and he just so happened to be at the right angle to make it appear as if he was looking at her based on what i heard though that guy right there was her personal trainer and earlier that day he was training her and he's previously trained her before as a personal trainer so for her to strategically record herself lifting her shirt up in a mirror it's almost as if this video was scripted because you know there's a lot of fake content out there just for the hype and viral moments but nah this one is real Okay, I thought so. Are you okay? Keep the question. If you're getting, if you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any type of way. I don't own the gym. I, I work here. Okay. Yes. And, and if you're getting what? rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can go out of police and have you trespassed mm -hmm. right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we're doing. So right now, I'm going to take the stuff and hit up front. All right, she said you can do something. 
So as you can see, the guy was visibly confused and a little correction for myself. I totally forgot that the guy who was in the incline bench press machine, who was the one actually looking at her, wasn't the one that she got mad at. I actually thought he was the personal trainer for a moment, but it was the one who decided to confront her after she was trying to be disrespectful to him in his gym. So not only was she in the wrong for trying to imply that he was being a creep, although she never explicitly said it, we know girls who do this stuff are trying to imply that based on the, you know, sensitive environment that we're in right now. But as soon as she gets a glimpse of one of those guys trying to look at her she says do you need something and that's what honestly baffled me when i saw this video for the first time because i'm like what does he need something at all to look at you since when has anybody needed any reason to look at anybody on this planet like looking is free his eyes are his eyes your eyes are your eyes i go to the gym all the time i've had a personal trainer myself i've never had this kind of friction or encounter with my personal trainer when he was bro at this point it's like why don't you just get your own gym equipment and work from your house? Because if if you're working out in a gym and you're wearing tight-ass yoga pants and you know, like, oh, there's going to be a lot of guys in the gym working out, lifting weights, all types of shit, and you expect an absolutely no one to look at you. And then another thing is, like, you're working at locations where there's other machines there. Like, you saw how she was doing the, the, the shit with the barbell or whatever where, 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 where she was lifting the shit up. And she was doing like some weird shit. And then the old man went in front of her and he's working on like the push-up machine. It's like you're working in front of other machines. It's like so when you're in front of all these other machines, do you expect people to just not exercise there now because you're there and you're within the vicinity or view angle it's like you make no sense training me when i'm at the gym doing bench press or chest press or doing lap pull downs or any kind of machine right and i'm hot and sweaty and people are looking at me i don't have a problem with that vice versa when people are doing their exercises whether it's a man or a woman i look at everybody because whether i like the kind of exercise movements that they're doing or i'm trying to figure out how something can benefit me it doesn't matter people are free to do what they want to do with their own eyes now granted it is weird if you're staring at someone for an extended amount of time like you'd probably be like is this person stalking me like what are they doing are they secretly jacking off like you know there are weird people out there but these are just regular guys in the video i just can't imagine myself catching a girl looking at me while i'm working out and it's happened plenty of times looking up at her and asking her do you want something is there Mr. a problem I, thank you for the reason, can i man. help you like do you know how caught off guard a, a girl would be if i asked her that not only is it weird and kind of rude but it's just like unnecessarily confrontational for no reason at all hell i'll take it as a compliment that means i'm i must be doing something right but in any ways what's crazy is that this is not the first time this girl has done something like this this is just the first time she got caught decided to post it to TikTok and went viral. Like check this other clip out that this man caught from her TikTok page just before she she's done this multiple times. She deleted it. I may be a loner, but y'all hang out with people that talk shit about y'all. She doing shit like this for attention. Then when she gets the attention, she gets mad at it. And she's doing all this while all these dudes is lifting and come on, dude. One girl said, the face you make when you realize that this shit ain't eating. <laughs> I was just about to say that, man. Like, her ass is a eye, but it ain't crazy. It's a eye. It ain't crazy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still hit, but even even she know herself that, 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 that it's not like a 10 or a 9 or an 8. It's just like a 7. It's a eye. <laughs> but yeah, she got to be around my age and... You know, she's clearly the kind of girl who's looking for attention. She goes to the gym full of men. And I'm not saying women can't go to the gym and work out <laughs> oh with my men. God. But I've never seen a man in the gym ever a day in my life doing some shit like this, ever. And I've been to the gym so many different times since I was a kid, even with my dad. I've never seen any guy pull up his shirt, twist himself to cop a view of his ass, and doing all this extra <laughs> shit for attention. Now, keep in mind, there are influencers, right? With millions of followers online who do this for a living. That's their job. Nah, I can't lie, bro. 
I've seen so many videos of dudes doing this shit. Right, with millions of followers. If I see a dude in the gym doing this, I'm walking up to you and I'm giving you a, I'm giving you a compliment. I'm gonna be like, dude, you are built like a Greek god. Like when I see dudes like this, I'll be like, damn, you look good, bro. Online who do this for a living, that's their job and their guys. They make money from this stuff. So I'm not talking about Ooh, them. I'm talking about regular people. She's a regular girl who the... goes to the gym. She doesn't make money from this. She's not a new person. He look or at least good, she tried bro. to be on, on TikTok. I, my man, I don't know how many no, followers man, Bill. she had. But if you don't have more than 10,000 followers, it's safe to say that you're not really influencing anybody. But what I find funny is that while she was trying to gain attention, all the dudes in the back are just going about their days, doing their workouts. Nobody's looking at her. And even if a guy who was in the background found her attractive, they know better than to look at her in this climate. Because it's a retro shame. Nah, man, up, like, I, I need my the hairy pits. The guy in the previous video did by looking at her, by simply copying a view. I mean, can we just be honest with ourselves? Because I know girls who watch my content have to go to the gym too. Some of you at least do. You know how some girls are, especially hey, when they're in a nice public cop. space or in a gym full of men like this. They want the attention and the validation to fuel their egos. And in the comment section of this entire story, everybody seems to agree <clears throat> that this girl is a douchebag for doing this. Like she's in the wrong, she's an attention seeker, and she was <coughs> trying to get a viral moment that backfired on her. And I say backfired because she deleted her Twitter account. I saw her Twitter account before it was up. It was on private, but now it's gone. She deleted her Instagram account, and you know how much it takes for a girl in this day and age to delete her Instagram. And you can see in her link tree, she even decided to delete her Snapchat. Like, God damn, the backlash must have been insane and rightfully so. And a comment that I found interesting on this Twitter thread from this person named Big Munchkey, they say, and this is why I mind my business, not taking the woman's side. I'm not correcting from or making any recommendations, tear your shoulders up, doing them curls and lat pull downs, low mama. I didn't see anything, right? Cause he's like, if a dude is about to get in trouble for this by simply looking at her while working out, then he'd be damned if he actually tried to walk up to her and, you know, give her some advice on how to do the exercise properly, which keep in mind guys, no, this is why 100% of the time, as a dude in the gym, mind your own business, grind, stay on your purpose. I can't stand it when dudes go to the gym looking for girls. Like, there's actually people at my gym that every time I go there, they're not working out. They're just there loitering in the gym, trying to gawk at girls and try to talk to girls while girls is just doing their workout. I ain't got time for that shit. When I go to the gym, I'm there to do my workout and get the fuck out. That's it. Mind your own business. As a dude going to the gym, mind your own business. Be on your grind. Be on your purpose. Work out. Get your gains. And leave. That's it. Guys do for each other all the time at gyms. But then this girl named Brooke, who looks like she doesn't even work out, said, LOL, sure. This is why 90% of dudes who try to give advice at the gym are really just looking for an opening to start a conversation with the woman. Like, I really want to know where she got this staff from. Like, it really seems like people who just throw up random percentages out here like this are just pulling this shit straight out of their asses. But she also says, never see y'all correcting young teens or older folks. Always just trying to help a young lady. That's completely false, dudes. Try to help each other out all the time at the gym like even one of the last times i went to the gym a dude needed a spot because he was trying to do some um bench press but you know after a certain weight it's kind of dangerous to not have a spotter and just in case your arms give out he looked around and was asking people and one guy within like 10 seconds stepped up to you know be a spotter for him no problem they even dabbed up and got to work so i don't know what she's talking about she's just obviously trying to paint and construct a narrative there in her you mind. go it was crazy see it bros really the man never that's what i need man i need a bro in the gym like that I love that type of shit. When they see you struggling and they help you out, that's the that's the gym bro shit. And who've never lifted a single weight in their life, who try to push these narratives. What to the hell is she doing? Who what the fuck was that? Single weight in their life. Bro, is she pretending like it's a dick? Like, like what what is she doing with the what is she doing with it? Crazy is it really be the ones who have never been into a gym, who've never lifted a single weight in their life, who try to push. No, I'm confused, bro. To label men who try to help women out at the gym oh! as creeps like at this point in time all i gotta say is if you're gonna have this mentality where you think anybody who's looking at you specifically men while you're recording them because you want to go viral just stay away from people then since you want to be an anti-social narcissistic prick just stay away from other people if you're that offended by other people's gaze but anyways exactly. let me know your thoughts and opinions down below that's all i wanted to say for this video because it's just sad that there are people out there who actually think like this. But with Damn.
You said, I once saw some guys in the gym working out in jeans, Tim's and a wife beater. Bro, there's this guy in my gym. Every time I go there, I'm telling you. This man, look, if I was to describe... Yo, hold on. Let me open a paint so I could draw him. There's this guy in my gym. He's probably like 25... I don't know. Bro, when I tell you this is how the guy looks, right? If I was to draw the guy that I see every day, and every time I see him, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? He looks like this, right? This is his head. He's wearing, like, these weird-ass glasses that look almost like the Leorio glasses, but they're not the Leorio glasses, right? It's, like, black shades, He's wearing a fucking KSI looking headband, right? And he has like curly hair. Um... If I remember what he was wearing last time, he was wearing a fucking scarf. So, already on some like weird ass flow, wearing a fucking scarf. Right? Bro, I'm telling you, I don't, I don't know. He wears like some random ass like shirt. I know I'm terrible at drawing a random shirt, fucking pajama pants, bro. And I'm talking about like the pajama pants with the with the fucking line coming down. And it's like with the weird ass Scotland pattern or like some shit, right? Like, you see, you're not that bad at drawing. Bro, you said, is this a Dragon Ball Z character? Bro, I'm telling you, there's a guy that goes every day to my gym like this. And it's like he wears the weirdest clothes. And I never see him working out. I only see him walking around. You say he works out with no hands? I'm bad at drawing hands. <laughs> Good enough. Perfect hands. Yeah, this is how he looks roughly. You said, I think he might have powers. Yo, maybe, but I, I get very confused. We're going to call him. I don't know, man. You say he got the manicure. I don't know. <laughs> 